Earthquake? That feels like an earthquake. Is that, am I overreacting? That's definitely that an earthquake. Like an earthquake. I did not probably, feel that. We it's, and look get, at the lights. We should probably get a check from USGS. That's an uh, earthquake. Oh, it is an earthquake. Yeah, we've got one yeah. going on. Okay. It just ended right now, and I'm getting a text from my wife in Rockland. She said, OMG, earthquake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let well, me, I was just recording. The lights are moving around yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the lights are moving around. But it's unusual for us to feel it that strongly here in our area. Our whole set actually started to move around. It does have wheels on it, but it's locked. And we do have a railroad uh, railroad tracks right behind us. So sometimes it's not unusual for the studio to shake a little bit, but mm -hmm. that was extra, extra shaking. I mean, the whole yeah. set was moving. And yeah. then what's indicative of it being a, a 5.5 Lake Almanor, that's where they're saying right now. Yeah. A pretty sizable earthquake yeah. jolt that uh, that hit us here in in uh, in West Los Angeles. My guess is that you probably also felt that wherever you were at home. We're trying to get more information. It happened uh, while we were uh, just on the air there. One quick, strong jolt. Uh, so uh, it, that gives us an indication that it either was probably pretty close to here mm -hmm. or a very sizable earthquake. So we are at Olympic and Bundy in West LA and we can always feel the building shake, but this was probably one of the strongest ones I've ever felt right here at Fox 11. We have This message is being transmitted at the request of the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. The United States Geological Survey has reported an alarming development in the San Andreas Fault today as a series of abnormal seismic readings were detected in the region. The San Andreas Fault is a long and complex fault line stretching approximately 800 miles through California. It is known for its ability to produce powerful earthquakes due to the ongoing movement of the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. A rupture along the fault could cause ground shaking over a wide area, potentially impacting densely populated cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Diego. Experts are closely monitoring the situation. Public safety agencies and emergency management teams have been placed on high alert following the USGS announcement. Authorities are urging residents in earthquake-prone regions to review their preparedness plans and be ready for any potential seismic event. These preparations include securing heavy furniture, creating emergency kits, and knowing evacuation routes. It is essential to stay informed about any official alerts issued by local authorities and the USGS, as well as to follow earthquake safety guidelines to minimize the risks associated with seismic events. Earthquake. Earthquake. Severe shaking expected in 20 seconds. This is not a test. Earthquake. Earthquake. Severe shaking expected in 10 seconds. This is not a test. Earthquake. Earthquake. Severe shaking expected in 5 seconds. California has been hit by a devastating catastrophe earlier today as a massive 9.1 magnitude earthquake has struck the region, causing widespread destruction and chaos. The earthquake was triggered along the San Andreas Fault, unleashing its full fury on populated cities and towns. The impact has been tremendous, with reports of collapsed buildings, infrastructure damage, 
and thousands of casualties. The death toll is rising rapidly as rescue teams struggle to reach affected areas due to damaged roads and communication lines. The entire state is facing a dire situation. The massive scale of the destruction is hundreds. of 9.1 magnitude earthquake has struck California along the San Andreas Fault. This is a catastrophic seismic event with widespread destruction across the state. The USGS has confirmed the magnitude of the earthquake based on scientific data. Multiple aftershocks are expected following a major earthquake. These aftershocks can be powerful and may cause additional damage. Be ready to drop, cover, and hold on during aftershocks. Follow evacuation orders issued by local authorities, especially if you are in a tsunami-prone coastal area. The governor of California has declared a state of emergency to mobilize resources and aid for the affected communities. If you require immediate assistance, call emergency services at 911. For family reunification and missing persons inquiries, contact 311. Please remain calm and listen for emergency alerts and be ready to take appropriate actions to protect yourself and your loved ones. Do not return to damaged buildings until authorities confirm they are safe. Stay tuned to local news and official sources for updates on the situation. <laughs> My baby's back from the West Coast. <laughs> Here are those pictures that you asked for for your school project. First day of school, cute as a button. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago. Oh, here's Grandma Florence after that flood wiped out the whole neighborhood. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure This message is being transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service and Federal Emergency Management Agency. The National Weather Service has issued a tsunami warning for San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Oakland, Long Beach, Santa Monica, Ventura, Santa Barbara, Huntington Beach, Malibu, Oceanside, Monterey, Eureka, Crescent City, Morro Bay, Newport Beach, Pismo Beach, Fort Bragg, Crescent City, and Redondo Beach. A 9.1 magnitude earthquake has occurred on the San Andreas Fault, generating a potential tsunami along the California coast. This is a tsunami warning. A warning means that a tsunami has been confirmed and is imminent. Evacuate immediately. Move to higher ground or inland as far as possible. Tsunami waves are expected to reach coastal areas imminently. Evacuate to areas at least 100 feet above sea level, or as far inland as possible. Seek higher ground on foot. Do not use elevators. Tsunami waves can travel up rivers and streams, causing additional flooding and dangers. Strong and unusual currents may continue for several hours after the initial wave. Avoid the shoreline until authorities give the all clear. Do not attempt to go to the beach to watch the waves. Tsunamis can be very dangerous and unpredictable. Keep your cell phone charged and use text messages or social media for communication, as they may be more reliable during this emergency. Stay tuned to local news, radio, or earthquake. Earthquake. Severe shaking expected in 15 seconds. This is not a test. <laughs> Earthquake. Earthquake. Severe shaking expected in 6 seconds. This is not a test.
This is an NBC News special report. Breaking news at this hour, a massive tsunami has struck the coastal areas of California, triggered by a powerful 9.1 magnitude earthquake that rocked the region earlier today. The earthquake generated a surge of water that swept inland, causing widespread devastation and chaos. Reports are pouring in from coastal cities detailing the impact of the tsunami. The scale of the disaster is immense, with reports indicating that major landmarks have sustained damage. Iconic structures such as the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and the Santa Monica Pier in Los Angeles have been affected by the tsunami's fury. The unprecedented force of the tsunami wave has Attention, residents and visitors in the downstream areas of the Hoover Dam, including Lachlan and Bullhead City. This is an emergency alert. Due to extensive earthquake damage, the Hoover Dam has collapsed, and water from Lake Mead is rapidly heading downstream. Immediate action is required. Evacuate immediately. The water surge from the Hoover Dam collapse is rapidly approaching and poses a significant threat to your safety. Head to areas at least 100 feet above the current water level. Seek higher ground on foot, avoiding low-lying areas and roads that may be impassable. Use designated evacuation routes and avoid low-lying areas and flood-prone zones. Take your emergency kit with you, including essential supplies like water, food, medications, and important documents. Tune into local news, radio, or official government sources for updates and further instructions. Earlier this evening, the uh, civil defense calling for an evacuation of all low-lying areas because of a tsunami. Waves of up to uh, three to six to seven feet haven't seen that materialize yet, even though they are seeing some of those tsunami waves come in at a couple of feet or so. Still a fairly serious situation out here with what may happen in some of the bays. It's still going to be a long night tonight. They're still going to have to wait at least a couple more hours before they can even consider lowering that advisory. But uh, it appears that it's not going to be as bad as they once predicted. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Lara. Let's get it back out to Sam for a little bit more on this. Sam, can you walk me through the science here? How long could they possibly be on alert in Hawaii? Uh, Dan, and first of all, as soon as that earthquake happened and knowing it's a 7-7 seven, seven, and anything above a 7 can lead to a tsunami. They This message is being transmitted at the request of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. To all residents within a 50-mile radius of Diablo Canyon Nuclear Power Plant. This is a nuclear power plant warning. An unprecedented 9.1 magnitude earthquake followed by a powerful tsunami has severely damaged the plant's infrastructure, leading to a nuclear reactor meltdown. There is a potential release of radioactive materials. Evacuate your homes and move away from the area immediately. This is a life-threatening situation. Use designated evacuation routes indicated by local authorities. Do not approach coastal areas due to the potential release of radioactive materials. Move inland and higher ground to avoid exposure to hazardous materials. Emergency response teams are working to manage the situation and ensure the safety of affected residents. Immediate actions are being taken to mitigate the risks associated with the nuclear reactor meltdown. This is CNN Breaking News. Today, our beloved state faces a challenge of unprecedented magnitude. The very ground beneath us has trembled.
and a powerful tsunami has swept across our coastal communities. We stand united in the face of adversity, and it is my duty to address you with both candor and resolve. Our state has been struck by a catastrophic 9.1 magnitude earthquake, followed by a devastating tsunami. The aftermath has left us with shattered buildings, fractured roads, and the heart-wrenching reality of countless lives forever changed. In the midst of this chaos, we are witnessing a challenge that none of us could have fully anticipated. I stand before you to share the measures we are taking to address this crisis head-on. The safety and well-being of every Californian are paramount, and it is with a heavy heart that I declare a state of martial law. This decision has not been taken lightly, but it is a necessary step to restore essential services, maintain order, and rescue those in peril. Our heroic first responders and emergency teams are already engaged in rescue operations across the affected areas. However, the magnitude of this disaster exceeds our immediate capacity. To ensure swift and coordinated efforts, I have called upon our military forces to stand alongside us. Our National Guard, our armed forces, will work in tandem with law enforcement to safeguard our communities and restore a sense of normalcy. Martial law does not mean the suspension of our principles or values. It is a means to protect and uphold them. Curfews will be established to ensure your safety during these challenging times. We will control access to certain areas to facilitate effective response operations. And while I acknowledge the inconvenience these measures may bring, please understand that they are being implemented for the greater good. I implore every Californian to remain calm, vigilant, and compassionate. We must stand together as neighbors and friends, aiding those in need and heeding the guidance of our emergency response teams. Our resilience as a state is a testament to our spirit. And it is this spirit that will carry us through the darkest of days. In the coming hours and days, you will witness the steadfast determination of your fellow Californians, our law enforcement, our military, and our dedicated public servants. We will rebuild, we will rescue, and we will restore. United, we will emerge stronger than before. May our collective efforts shine as a beacon of hope in these trying times. God bless you all, and may God bless the great state of California. It was the most powerful quake in that region in two decades. You can see chandeliers swaying. This is in Los felt again as far away as Las Vegas. And depending on who you talk to and where they were, they experienced things very, very differently. In Ridgecrest, which is the epicenter, it's described as a violent shaking. And people are describing being terrified, people in tears. There was a fireball, which had been a home. Everybody did get out safely. That was confirmed by NBC News's Molly Hunter. And in places like Las Vegas where uh, and, and Los Angeles, where you're seeing right now, it's being described more as like, a seasickness, like extremely dangerous situation requires your immediate attention and action. Due to aftershocks following a recent earthquake, a substantial landslide has been triggered in the San Bernardino Mountains. The landslide, consisting of softened land and rocks, is heading directly for the community of Crestline. It is projected to bury the area with debris and rocks. For your safety, you must evacuate the area immediately. Stay away from rivers, streams, and low-lying areas that could be affected by flooding. Avoid driving through flooded or debris-covered roads. Head to designated evacuation centers for shelter and assistance. Monitor your local news and official social media channels for the latest information on evacuation routes, shelters, and road closures. Your swift and responsible.
Action will significantly enhance your safety. Good morning, Mr. President. This is Secretary Rumsfeld speaking. I'm still in California as of now, and this can't wait any longer. What's happening along the San Andreas Fault is far from natural. USGS and DOD have been working day and night, sir, trying to make sense of the anomalies behind these earthquakes and tsunamis. But what we've discovered goes beyond anything we've seen before. It's like technology from another world. The tremors we're experiencing, sir, aren't just from shifting plates. They're being orchestrated by some advanced device buried within the Earth. It's controlling seismic forces with an accuracy we can't explain. This is no accident, Mr. President. We're up against a calculated act of a grand. We're facing a force that's using our own planet against us. We can't predict its motives, but the power it commands is beyond anything we could have imagined. Our military might isn't enough against this extraterrestrial tech. We're dealing with an adversary that can cause unimaginable destruction by manipulating the Earth's crust. Sir, our experts are working non-stop to understand its purpose and find a way to counter. But time is short. Our very existence is hanging by a thread. I need you to grasp the enormity of this situation. We're facing an alien force that's turned our own planet into a weapon. Our survival, our nation's security, it's all on the line, sir. I'm flying to AFB as soon as I can. I'll keep you updated as we learn more, sir. Right now, I urge you, Mr. President, to take swift action to protect our nation. Matt, what is it? Matt, what do you see? Just tell, tell us what you're seeing, Matt. The cam what's, the, what, what, what's the cameraman's name? I'm told his name is Patrick. Patrick, Patrick, just move the camera to the screen. Show us what you're sh seeing on the screen. Patrick, do you read the... Open show silos. us what's on the... Track trajectories. No, there's too many. There's too many to calculate. Now, oh, my God. Friends, this is Houston. Friends, do you copy? Friends, this is Houston. Come in, please. Uh, no reports, we have up do you copy? Do you copy? Mexico City, this is Houston. Mexico City, do you copy? Do you read me? Seven. Uh, please change frequencies and copy. Mexico City, Maui, Maui. State your uh, uh, Maui, state your incoming. London, this is Houston. London, do you read me? This is Negative. Houston. London, if you're there, please answer. Anchorage. Anchorage reports Juno has been destroyed. Uh, we have no spy six, Maui. Beijing, right. Beijing, this is Houston. Beijing, do you copy? Beijing, please come in. If you can hear the sound of my voice, please come in. Beijing, Socorro, Socorro, please come in. Obviously, we'll stay on as long as we can. And we'll keep feeding you the signal from the Johnson Space Center as long as possible. With all the missiles and all the power. I can only leave you with this thought from Shakespeare. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Cape Town, Cape Town, Washington, Washington, this is Houston, Washington, do you read me? Washington, this is Houston Control, please come in. Come in, Washington, this is...